North Korea has revealed a significant upgrade to its military arsenal, a 12-axle transporter erector launcher, TEL. The new TEL model, larger than any previously observed, was showcased during Kim Jong-un's visit to a defense industry factory, as captured in a photo published by the official North Korean news agency KCNA on September 8, 2024. This development marks a major leap forward in North Korea's missile delivery capabilities, raising international concerns about the country's potential to enhance its intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM, program. The introduction of the 12 axle TEL has sparked widespread speculation among defense experts. North Korea's previously largest launcher, the 11 axle TEL, was designed to carry the Wasong 17, an ICBM that can reportedly reach targets far beyond the Korean Peninsula. The new 12-axle vehicle suggests the possibility of a larger, more powerful missile, potentially the Wasong-18. Analysts point to the increased size and carrying capacity of this new TEL as an indicator that North Korea is advancing its ballistic missile capabilities, potentially developing missiles that surpass current models in range and destructive power. The implications of this new launcher are profound. A larger missile, such as the rumored Wasong-18, could carry more powerful warheads or feature multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, increasing North Korea's ability to deliver nuclear strikes against multiple targets. The upgrade also signals a more mobile and elusive missile deployment strategy, making it more difficult for adversaries to detect and intercept missile launches. The introduction of the 12-axle TEL has heightened security concerns among North Korea's neighbors and the international community. The larger size and enhanced mobility of the vehicle enable faster and more stealthy missile deployments, increasing the challenge of preempting or countering such launches. According to an analysis by NK News, this launcher is the largest North Korea has ever produced, underscoring the regime's focus on modernizing its missile capabilities. In response to the unveiling, Pentagon spokesperson Major General Pat Ryder emphasized that North Korea often uses media to project its military power. He confirmed that the U.S. and its allies are closely monitoring these developments, although it remains uncertain whether this new vehicle will be fully integrated into North Korea's missile program or if it is primarily intended as a show of force. The new TEL is part of North Korea's broader strategy of military modernization under Kim Jong-un's leadership. Recent years have seen the country invest heavily in its nuclear and missile programs, with frequent tests and unveilings of new technologies aimed at enhancing the country's strategic deterrent. This latest development aligns with North Korea's continued focus on improving the scientific and technical aspects of its military equipment. The new 12-axle TEL is likely designed to support next-generation missiles, such as the Wasong-18, which could surpass the capabilities of the Wasong-17. The vehicle's larger frame and mobility make it a formidable addition to North Korea's missile arsenal, as it complicates efforts by other countries to track and neutralize missile launches. This development has raised alarm among neighboring countries, particularly South Korea and Japan, as well as the United States, all of which are within potential striking range of North Korean ICBMs. North Korea's missile developments also come amid heightened tensions in the region. Joint military exercises by the United States and South Korea have provoked sharp responses from Pyongyang, with North Korea frequently citing these drills as justification for its missile tests and weapons advancements. The unveiling of the 12-axle TEL appears to be a calculated move by the North Korean regime to showcase its determination to bolster its strategic capabilities in response to perceived threats. The unveiling of the 12-axle TEL reinforces North Korea's commitment to expanding its military capabilities, particularly its ICBM program. While the full extent of the TEL's operational use remains to be seen, its introduction signals a major step in Pyongyang's efforts to modernize its arsenal. The vehicle's design emphasizes mobility and speed, two critical factors that would make North Korean missiles harder to detect and intercept, thereby strengthening the regime's deterrence capabilities. International observers will continue to monitor developments in North Korea's missile program closely, as the 12 axle TEL has the potential to significantly alter the strategic landscape in East Asia and beyond. With tensions in the region already high, this new advancement could further complicate diplomatic efforts to de escalate the situation and secure peace. As North Korea continues to pursue its ambitions in missile technology, the international community faces the challenge of addressing the growing threat posed by Pyongyang's increasingly sophisticated military capabilities. The unveiling of the 12-axle TEL is a reminder that North Korea remains determined to strengthen its strategic position, regardless of international sanctions or diplomatic pressures.